What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we are going to be talking about the best farming team in the game. Now, um, with the release of these last couple of new units, and um, right now book stages are half stamina, I decided to go ahead and talk about the best farming team and do a video on that. So, uh, let me go ahead and switch over. So, best farming team in the game. Number one, you, you already know, you're going to have Blue Demon Meliodas on the team. Blue Demon Meliodas amazing aoe unit um his aoe attack has pierce on it so it's doing triple pierce rate damage well triple pierce rate increase anyways um just a really hard aoe hitting unit he's gonna one shot most mobs with his aoe granted he does um he, he does do corrosion first but you got to keep in mind like his his aoe hits so hard that like it's it's completely fine if you like if the corrosion goes off first simply because of like how hard he hits with his you know uh aoe card so uh obviously you're gonna have blue demon meliotis and, and and before we get into it i'm gonna definitely talk about other units that you can use because i know not everyone has every single unit in the game so you don't gotta worry about that um as as far as his gear goes right uh for his gear you want to go like the best case scenario would be half pierce half attack so 50 50 um but if, if you get like a whole like a bunch of high pierce rolls or a bunch of high attack rolls you can just keep it like you don't have to re-roll it now it's, it's it's just not worth compared to you like fishing for the perfect rolls um so yeah i mean like if you if you get a high roll on one of the two that's perfectly fine but like best case scenario is just 50 50 because um it, it just ha it has the best um, fusion of you know percents but anyways yeah blue d meliotis obviously is going to be your first unit uh lolia lolia just came out not too long ago she is going to be increasing the damage of your um farming team massively by her uh passive now for lilia i mean you can just go you can go rare gear like you don't like i literally have rare gear uh with pierce rolls for her i, I don't have like ssr gear or anything you literally don't have to go ssr gear if you if you can't afford to or anything like that rare gear with pierce rolls is perfectly fine at the top so um obviously she's gonna be on the team she's gonna be making meliotis hit insanely like way harder um very 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 good support unit and she has an aoe which is pretty nice um just very good unit overall. Like I said, she's going to be making your farming team hit insanely harder. So she's definitely who you want to have on there as well. Um, third, we have Hauser, which obviously Hauser is the best farmer in the game. Even with Meliodas in the game, Hauser is the best farmer just because he has that double AOE. But the good thing is like Hauser is put on the pin team just like Meliodas for the farm, for the farming team. Um, obviously, first card does Pierce. Now, Meliodas hits way harder simply because Hauser's pierce rate is a lot lower than Meliodas. But Hauser having that double AoE is just going to be really, really nice. Um, for Hauser, you can just go full pierce, honestly. Um, like, his is whatever, right? For, for Hauser, you can go full pierce for sure. Um, and I mean, his passive is also increasing his base stats and increasing Lilia's base stats, which is going to be really good as well. Um, but yeah, Meliodas, Lilia, Hauser is going to be the best three. Now, uh, we can go ahead and get into the four slot because the four, the four slot is very debatable depending on who you're using or who you want to use. This on JP is still like the best farm team in the game. Uh, obviously Jericho's passive. If you guys don't know, Jericho is going to be giving 10% increased base stat, uh, not base stats, 10% uh, attack related stats to blue units. So, uh, Lilia and Meliodas are both getting that buff, uh, which is really, really nice. Now, I know some of you are going to be like, uh, well, Darkskin, I don't have Blue Demon Meliodas, or Darkskin, uh, Hauser is my main damage dealer, etc. Well, if that is the case, there are a couple of things, right? Uh, say Hauser's your main damage dealer, you can opt to go Red Jericho, because she's going to be giving attack-related stats to, you know, red units. Um... Now, let's say you use Green Bond, right? Let's say Green Bond is your farmer. You can obviously go Alioni, who is giving 10% attack-related stats to HP units or green units. So, um, depending who your main damage dealer is, depends on who you're going to be using in the fourth slot for the, like, as far as Blue, Red Jericho, and then Alioni. Um, 
like I said, naturally you want to use blue Jericho because you're going to have that blue Meliodas Lilia combo. Um, let's say you don't have Meliodas or our Hauser's just like that's just who you use as your main damage dealer. You could obviously go red and then say, you know, Bond is your main damage dealer. You could go Alioni. Now, uh, keep in mind, you can also use, let's say, like I said, let's say you don't have Meliodas or you don't have Hauser built or whatever the case may be. You can also use Green Elizabeth. Green Elizabeth also has um, really good damage. And she has a Pierce card, right? So she has the same Pierce card as Hauser, same Pierce card as Meliodas. Um, you could definitely use her as well. Her Pierce rate's a little bit higher than Hauser's base, which is perfectly fine. But um, yeah, really, really good. And uh, her passive increases... All allies HP related stats by 10% and all battles except PvP deathmatch, which is going to be, you know, whenever you're farming stuff. So, um, she's also a very, very good option to use as far as the farming team goes just because of her uh, AoE and it has the Pierce mechanic on it as well. Um, now, getting into, I know a lot of you guys are thinking about it, Wineheart. Wineheart is a good four slot for um now now don't get me wrong Weinhart is a good four slot for the pin team because of how he works if you guys don't know how Weinhart works uh let me go ahead and find him Weinhart right here Weinhart's passive increases all allies pierce rate by eight percent at the end of every turn limit to five so up to 40 percent granted um obviously best case scenario is you're beating the stage or whatever in like one to two turns so it's like his passive is not going to always have a chance to fully stack, but um, it, it's still very good. It still helps out quite a lot nonetheless because he's going to be giving his pierce rate to Lilia, who Lilia is going to be giving her pierce rate to the team while he's also giving his pierce rate to the team. So it's like it's like killing two birds, one stone type of deal. Um, Whiteheart's very, very good as far as that goes. Now, like I said, this is the best team on JP for farming at this current point. But let's say you don't have Lilia. You could easily um, put Weinhardt in there and have it go do it like this. Uh, if you guys don't know, Weinhardt does have double AoE cards. Now, uh, the cards don't have Pierce on them or anything like that. But they are double AoE. Uh, same percents. They're going to be doing pretty good damage as far as farming stages go. When it comes to like... Ball stages, like probably ball stage five and six isn't going to be like, he's probably going to fall off a little bit. But as far as like farming, you know, gear, farming books or stuff like that, he is going to be really, really good as far as his passive and, uh, you know, just AOE farming. Very, very good unit. Now, keep in mind, you can put Weinhardt in the fourth slot if you want to as well. Weinhardt does work in the fourth slot. So if that's something you want to do, you could definitely use him in the fourth slot. But yeah, so like, if you like and i keep saying this right i know a lot of people may not have hauser built a lot of people might not have lilia a lot of people might not have meliotis so if you don't have those units you could definitely uh, mix and match if you don't have lilia i definitely say run weinhardt in the front if you don't have meliotis you could easily um you could e easily switch in uh green liz or you could easily switch in um green bond for Meliodas if you don't now this is my this is this is one thing you want to keep in mind if you don't have blue demon Meliodas but you're using Hauser Hauser becomes your main damage dealer automatically like automatically Hauser becomes your main damage dealer and you should you should run your team just like this right this this is exactly what the team should be well you can obviously put in whoever else here whether you want to put green Liz green bond Weinhardt, etc but if, like hauser becomes your main damage dealer if you do not have blue demon meliotis hauser's the best farmer in the game meliotis just hits harder and that's why you're buffing meliotis first um but like obviously like i said you can mix and match and everything like that uh as i said it is half stamina for books right now so you guys should be farming books getting your gold going um i already started farming I, um, I've been farming gold because I'm trying to six star awaken my box and I need a lot of gold to do it uh, I'm I'm down to like the last eight units I literally just have eight units left that I need to six star and then I'm, I'm done but um as you can see 2400 uh, well 2400 240 thousand 300 thousand and that's for all of them well not all of them but give or take you know 180 thousand uh, 200 thousand 180 thousand 200 thousand 
300,000, 400,000. It's a lot of gold to get the rest of these units maxed out. So I'm going to be needing quite a lot of gold for that. Not to mention, uh, people have been talking about the uh, the, the gold event for the uh, gear gotcha coming soon or something like that. So uh, you definitely want to have a lot of gold as much as possible as well. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.